everybody and welcome to cooking in the kitchen. Today we're going to do a roasted yellow bell pepper soup with garlic and onion and basil and a julienne of chicken breast to top it off with. A relatively simple uh, dish which uh, doesn't require that many ingredients but uh, gives a, has a very specific lovely look and fabulous taste. I think bell peppers are often underrated uh, in nowadays, uh, but if you roast them, and that means if you grill them on a, on a grill, either on a barbecue outside or under the grill in the oven, you can really get a lovely sweet and strong and juicy uh, taste and flavor from them. So, I will start by introducing the ingredients. We have a whole chicken. I have to make a chicken stock. For the stock, we have celery, carrots, and a leek. There's some dry chili. And the actual soup, once the stock is done, we have yellow, beautiful bell peppers, some lovely red onions, some peeled garlic cloves, and some lovely, small, spicy, spicy Thai chilies. But before we begin, I will, uh, I will cook the soup or the stock for the actual soup, which we'll do later. So this video is going to be in small stages as the stock takes 45 minutes to one hour just to cook, to cook. When you boil the chicken stock, you really shouldn't boil it too long in my opinion, because then you start getting, it gets a little bit sort of less fresh and not so interesting. So I have prepared parts. We already have it has some uh, water in it. And all I do is just put the chicken in the stock. There we go. A lovely leek has been washed, you see, opened and washed and rinsed with water because it, you can be lucky, unlucky and have some uh, uh, earth or dirt in here. So, just give it a rough shot. There we go. Put it in put the pot. I have some carrots, about three. I don't bother to peel them, I just wash them a bit. And I don't take the bottom off it. There we go. And some celery, a green celery. You can also use celeriac, which has even more strong taste and lovely flavor. I bought some green celery leaves. And having said this, when you boil a stock or a chicken stock, there's no limit to what kind of vegetables you can put in to flavor it, in my opinion. So whatever you have left over, you can stick it in, some onions maybe, and then, then just boil it. Also here I will put a little bit dry chili flakes, which I grind into it, just to give it a tiny bit of zing. Zing! Zing zong! Yes! Lid on it, put it on the turbo cooker, and bring it to the boil quickly. And as soon as it boils, let it put it down and let it simmer on a lower temperature. Make sure there's a movement so that it gives a that there are some bubbles and bubbles and it's boiling but not sort of madly. So you could put a little bit of love and care and tenderness into this chicken stock. Wie ein Liebchen hat gefunden, die es treu und redlich meint, lohn es ihr durch tausend Küsse, mach ihr all das Leben süßer, sei ihr Tröster, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Tröster, sei ihr Freund, sei ihr Freund. Tralalera, 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 tralalera. Now 
the stock is on its way, I will prepare the next um, ingredients for making the soup of. Um, and we will start with the yellow bell peppers and onions and the garlic and a few of the Thai chilies, if you can see them. So, so this all has to be roasted under the grill in the oven. So I'll prepare it and then show you how it's done. I cut off the meat or the flesh, take out the seeds, just into a big chunky pieces like this. Leave it aside and continue like that. With this, perhaps a bit of Basilio's Alunia aria could fit, preparing for a bomb of flavor. Now with the bell peppers, we also we'll put some red onions and what I do is I slice them into like approximately four pieces, very thick slices, something like this. Oh, we can see. Here we are. Sorry about the lighting. Um, yeah, so slices are like that. And with that, I prepared three cloves of garlic. And I also put in one lovely, strong Thai cheese. I take off the top. Leave the seeds in because I like it spicy. Perhaps I take a few out. There we are. The soup is going. Turning it down so it can simmer. And now I will show you how the peppers will be roasted. Now, all you have to do, peppers go on here. Oh, here we go. The peppers go on the sliced and cut up peppers and put it on this aluminum foil, an aluminum foil. Something like this. The same goes for the onions. You could almost say like you're preparing the flavors of the soup together in this tray. So here we are. I hope you can see it. Lovely bell peppers, a few cloves of, cloves of garlic, chili, and the red onions. All this goes under the grill in the oven. Roasting the bell peppers in the oven. And the onions, garlic, and a little bit of chili. I put the grill, griddle on a griddle, I think you say in England? The griddle. 
hand on the second highest level, you put it on and develop a strong red burning heat from the top. Acts here a bit like coal in the barbecue outside. You could obviously also do it outside on the barbecue if you have one. That would give it a much better flavor and stronger taste, but this works also very well, especially when you do it in the winter. The roasted peppers have now been roasting under the grill, 20 minutes or so, and become very nice and lovely, blackened. The skin has simply blackened, and that's what we want. In the meantime, the chicken has finished cooking, and you can see there's a lovely stock in here. So what we want, we want to take the chicken out so we can use the stock. I'm going to need a few spoons. And also we need to take some of the breast meat off the chicken later. So, here we are. All I do is strain it all in here. Hope you can see some of it. Flashing away everywhere. Don't worry. I will clean later. There we are. The lovely stock is finished. And then a little bit of bump. Get it back in the box. That's ready. In this box you can see the lovely chicken stock. Chicken will cool down a bit, and what I'm going to do is remove a bit of the chicken breast. Not to see, but it's very simple. You just the knife or something. Take the chicken because it is obviously completely cooked. And we just need a piece of something like this to cool down a bit. The rest of the chicken I can use later for other things. For instance, tomorrow for lunch, lovely chicken salad, chicken noodle salad, a curry chicken salad. Now, chicken is cooling, everything's ready. I made a mess. I think that goes with cooking, doesn't it? And while I peel the lovely peppers, I thought we should delve into something completely different. A little bit of venom and nastiness that might pep up this little pepper soup. So um, I thought of uh, another role that I really like to sing very much is uh, the Grand Inquisitor from from Don Carlos, the old 92 or 96 year old man who still knows how to sing. Nelly Spanos vuol male sia domino ma chi vuol minare l'edificio L'amico gliene da me, il suo fedel compagno, il demonte da tolche lo spinge a rovina. Right, I should have brought some pepper into the soup. I've nearly done all the peppers. This soup can uh, also be done, of course, cooked with red peppers, roasted red peppers. It will then be a roasted red pepper soup. And uh, which works very well as well. Also looks very nice, very red and orange flavor, uh, color. Um, and uh, But the yellow pepper has, in my opinion, a very specific, interesting flavor, which goes very well in this combination. The other thing, and the reason why I'm cooking this today is because in Denmark, where I am at the moment, the summer has finally arrived. I'm sure it has in most of the northern hemisphere as well. And this soup is a lovely soup to cook. You can cook it before you want to eat it. And you can serve it hot or you can serve it cold. Lovely, nice and chilled. Even with a few ice cubes in it or something like that. Or with a shot of vodka or particularly on if you like. It will, it's a very, very nice sort of cold dish to have or to serve. I've done all the peppers, the onions and garlic are here still with the chili. 
they are already ready, they peeled before. So, some of the stock I leave in here. Just in case you don't need it all. And now it's very simple forward. You just put all the ingredients in, except for the chicken that comes on top. But you do the peppers without the skin and the onions. The two little garlic cloves, which are now sort of really blackened. A tiny bit of chili, very spicy. And all the lovely sweet roasted or grilled red onions. So this is going to take a bit of noise. I might be able to sing a bit over it. Who knows? I'm going to test it. Already quite good. Time to get salt. Flaky salt from Iceland. Iceland, the country, not the supermarket. And a bit of freshly grown black pepper. I always use black pepper, really. Quite like it. And for smoothing and fine refining it, in Denmark we say Lievitsmesmer, meaning plenty of butter, so or plenty of butter. A tiny dollop, um, depending on how much you like it. You can also use whipping cream or thick clotted cream, uh, not clotted, double cream, into it to enhance the flavor. I mean, I mean animal fat that go as a flavor enhancer. You could also use a soy cream or something like that. Let's see. Texture is lovely and smooth. Very good. And if you want it to look smoother or nicer, you can just strain it a bit. Let's see if you can get into this lovely Chinese bowl. Hope you can see it. Oh, geez. So, as I said, you can easily cool it down in the fridge and then serve it when it's cold as a cold soup. Creamy, nice soup. And just to top it off, we have the lovely chicken breast. And what you want to do with that, pick it to lovely, very thin stripes, strips. Lovely, picked, as you can see. And now all you have to do is sprinkle it on top. That's what I usually do. Some of it falls into it, some of it stays on top. And then to garnish, I brought some lovely basil, which has just uh, grown in the greenhouse. Lovely smell. And that you can do as you wish, but I like to cut it into a julienne also. 
just like the chicken, in long, thin strips. Julienne is French for um, two, no, matchsticks shape. Stick it on top. And that's it. Maybe finish with this. And you here now have, I hope you can see it, lovely roasted yellow pepper soup with julienne of chicken and some fresh basil on top. Thank <laughs> you.